All right, so now I've, that I've reviewed with you the basic over under weaving technique, now I'm gonna show you some new different weaving techniques and we have a handout here that shows you some different ones. This is the basket weave. This is one where you intertwine two colors at the same time, you're weaving two at the same time. And then this one here, you weave one side of your weaving one color, one side the other. This one I haven't been able to figure out, so we're gonna skip that one. And then there's another one here and then a looping one, and then the rug. So I'm gonna show you all of these, and we're gonna start with the basic basket weave. So you're gonna get yourself a piece of yarn. It can be a little bit longer than I typically say to cut, because you're gonna double it up. So you're gonna take the end, put it through the needle, and then you're gonna make the two ends match up. So you're gonna make those two ends match up, and then make sure your needle ends up in the middle. So here's the middle of the yarn, the two ends matching up. So now I'm gonna zoom in so you can see. And now you're going to go over two, under two, over two, under two. So you're gonna go over two. Let me zoom in again so you can see a little bit better. Okay. You're gonna go over two, under two over two, under two, over two, under two, over. Now you're gonna end up with one left over and you're gonna treat that one left over just as one. So when I come back, now when you go across, let me go back, I'm sorry. When you go across, you don't want these yarns to be twisted like this. You want them to lay flat. So you've gotta go through and make sure they're not twisted and that they lay side by side um, and they lay flat. So now when I come back this way, I'm gonna treat this one as one and go over this one and then under two, over two, under two, over two, under two, over two. And when I pull this across again, remember you don't wanna to pull too tight, so you wanna leave a little bit of loop and then you push this up. And now you go back over two, under two, over two, under two. Now this is twisted, so I'm gonna untwist it. flat and then pull without getting and I can go back across one more time it'll reach so go over the one and over, over two under two over two under two this is one of the easiest ones in the handout so now I'm gonna push on flat pull this across now when you get to the end of the basket weave you can see your needle is attached so you have to actually snip the end of the yarn to get your needle off there. So that's the simple basket weave. That actually goes a lot faster than the single over under and it's easy um, and it can really fill up your space um, fast. Okay, so now we'll do the second one in the packet which is two colors. You go across with one color, then go across with the second color, then you come back with the third, back with the fourth. So let me show you how to do that. So you're going to cut a piece, of, two pieces of yarn, two different colors. So I'm gonna start with the blue and I'm gonna go across with the blue. And since my last technique is done, is different, it's over two, under two, over two, under two, this first time across, I don't really have to look back and see. Um, I can just go over one, under one, over one, under one, and then from then on it matters. Okay. So over one, under one, over one, under one, all the way across. I'll pull this across. I'm gonna set this string down. I'm gonna get a new string. And now I'm gonna go across. And now it matters. Now I have to do the opposite of what I did with the blue. So the blue is on top of this first warp string. So I'm gonna go under the first one, over the second one, the opposite of what I did with the blue. Pull it across. Okay. Push that up. Now I come back with the blue. And when I come back with the blue, if I pull my blue, I'm gonna zoom in a little bit closer so you can see. If I pull my blue back this direction, you can see it's leaving a gap. So what I have to do when I come back through is the black has to go over the top of the blue. So I'm gonna lift up my black, go over, and now my blue goes under the black, so now it will hold its space and shape there because the black's gonna hold it back. If the black's not there, 
then when I pull, it leaves this warp string open. So that's why we do that. Okay. So now when I come back across, I go just like I did with the blue, the first blue. I go over the first one, under the second one, the opposite of the black, the same as the blue, across, and with the black yarn being on top of the blue, when I pull, it'll hold its spot there. Okay, so now I'm going to come back with the black. Find the end of the black, and I go under this first one, over the second one, just like I wove originally with the black, or I just do the opposite of what I did with the blue last time. Pull this across, and now the black is looped with the blue so it won't leave a space, and now I come back with the blue. But remember, when I come back with the blue, the black has to be on top, so if you look at this, if I pull the blue, there's a big gap, so I'm going to put the black on top of the blue, loop it over, put it over the top, so it'll hold it back, find the end of the blue, and then go back. Just through, and now I come back with the black. These are kind of long and getting in my way, so I'm going to trim these a little bit, not too close to the edge. I'm going to trim those and get those out of my way. All right, so now I come back with the blue, but remember, the black has to be over the top of the blue when I come back to hold it back. All right, this is going to be the last of the black that I do and the last of the blue, and I'll show you in another technique. Okay. Now, if this were you, I would want you to finish this blue and this black before you started a new one. But since I don't want you to waste your time and make you watch me do all this, I'm going to get two new colors and show you how to use those, how to do another technique. Okay, so I'm going to start with white. I'm going to use a needle this time. You don't have to use a needle for this technique. Well, you actually should. Okay, so when I start this one, I want to go opposite of what I did with the black. So the black is under the warp, so I'm going to start over. And this is the one where you can go about halfway across, pull your yarn, and then go back the way you came. So you don't go all the way across. And you just keep going back and forth. And I can go back to the exact same spot and keep going back and get a nice neat rectangle of space or if I want it to be more of a diagonal space almost a triangle when I go across I stop and this is just a simple over under and I go back so I stopped a little short so this time this one's shorter doesn't go as far as that one and that's okay and I just go back and forth until I use up all the string all this yarn pretty much at the end so I'm going to stop and so you can see I kind of have a diagonal line so now I'm going to take a new color this green brown color and now I'm going to weave from the other side and come across to the white so I'm going to come across and again I have to look at my alternation of alternating of the black the black is under so I start over under over under opposite of what the black was now when I get here to the white, I'm going to pull these down and I will look at this first loop. So this first loop I have to go through. If I go back the way I came right now, then I have a hole in my weaving. So you have this hole right here and we don't want that. I don't want that. So you're going to go across to this first loop. 
and you're gonna go over this warp, under this one, but when you come up, you come up through the white, through the loop, pull your string through, and now you go back the way you came, alternating the opposite, and you go back. And then these two loop into each other, and there's no hole in your weaving. So now I come back, and this time I go through that loop of the white, and I go back the way I came, making sure that the green and the white loop into each other so that there's no hole. Okay, so now I keep going back and forth. Now when I get to this one, I'm gonna go down through this loop because I'm gonna go, I have to go over this warp. So I'm gonna go over the warp, but when I come back, I go through that white loop back the way I came. Okay, now I have my next loop. It's better when you do this to have the same thickness of yarn because if you look as I push this up the white is thicker than the green this yellowish green color so it doesn't it takes up more space it doesn't want to be equal in the amount of space it takes so you have to be you kind of want to pick something that's very much the same thickness but if you don't like I didn't it's not the end of the world it'll be okay we can make it work all right so oops push this up. All right. Hopefully I have enough to get me through the rest of the white. If I don't, that's okay. No, I don't. Okay. So I have one little loop left over the white. Okay. So I'm done with the green. Now when I go to start my next color, I still have this white loop left. I could undo this and just say, okay, I'm done, and then keep going back and forth. Um, but I think what I'll do is, um, I'll just show you what you would do when you start a new color if you run out. You just do opposite of what you did here. And then we gotta go down through the loop and then back. Okay. 